Actually, black girls love, like, black girls in Montreal, they will love you. Black girls in Toronto, they will love you. Yeah, they will love that shit. Also, the big bears, or? Like, yeah, like, depends, like, actually, it all depends, like, your style, and, like, the way you, you like, rock your beard, like, mm -hmm. like, gotta look good, like, with a beard, so. How you doing, man? Chillin', chillin'. Chillin'. Probably see the dandruff through this <laughs> light. Well, no problem. <laughs> it's uh, the, the comfort to business, you know? Yeah. So where are you from, man? I'm Montreal, Canada. I'm born in Haiti. But, yeah, grew up in Montreal, Canada. That's where I live. That's where I'm from. Does Montreal and uh, Haiti have, like, like a big influence on the music that you make? Uh, not really much, sure, but like Haiti maybe a little bit. Just like the percussions that they use like in like Haitian music and that's it. What's your scope regarding your music genre? And are you afraid that it's a quick hype or? Uh, I don't know. If it falls off like in two years, I'm not gonna be ashamed of it. Like if it's the hype shit, right? Like in two years, I'm not gonna be. Uh, I'm not gonna be ashamed of that or whatever. No. Like, but, you know, hope it gets around a lot because I'm not sure like this type of music will like die soon. So I'm gonna keep on. I'm gonna keep on enjoying making that type of shit. So. Enjoy the most, for example, is it like more um, that you like to DJ or to produce really in a studio? Uh, there's no big difference. It's like, I mean, I'm just playing music like when I'm DJing. Yeah. It, can, it can get boring sometimes, but, but like when I DJ for myself, like just, I don't know, just do tricks and like just like vibe into it. You know? Sometimes I have moments for myself and just like DJ play like my old shit and then play some more hip hop shit, some more real shit, you know? And this is where I enjoy the DJing more. And but the studio is like, is way cooler because like you get to collaborate with a bunch of dope artists. Yeah. You know? So, but originally you also started with DJ to spin hip hop or was it like also... Uh... It was more hip hop music. Because, I don't know, my, this house stuff is like, it's always like, side genre like something i just like that was into like back in 2009 right now i'm not even listening to house music i don't even really listen to like a lot of hip-hop today like i just listen to old stuff you know like like the 80s boogies right now right right now i'm on this like 80s boogie vibe disco and, like the best this music right now for me so last year Kate Tonada literally exploded on, on the internet. And what was like the first moment that you really thought, okay, shit is getting real? Two days ago, after my London show, like, I saw, I, I thought I had a bright future, so, I don't know, it kind of like wake, woke me up and realized like, oh shit, okay, this is not a joke. Who do we have to watch in 2014? Um, Rick Mensa. You should watch Rick Mensa. I'm actually working on, on some good shit with him, like a EP with Ram, and it's gonna be tight. Tight. Also, uh, my brother's project, uh, The Celestics. It's me on the piece, and he's the rapper, and um, it's gonna be a tight ass project, like for real hip hop heads, like. Is the next big thing. They don't don't act like y'all didn't say that shit. Like don't act like y'all didn't hear that shit. Oh, okay. It's gonna be the next big time. We also read like on the internet that you uh, maybe have like an ambition to uh, to rap. How yeah. serious is this? Oh, it's getting serious, like more serious. And it's getting more serious right now. And 
like I said, like y'all ain't ready for, for my skills. Cause I'm about to take over you, yeah. like all these rappers and shit. So, so there's yes. a possibility that we can see like Kate Renata oh. and then Oh yeah, definitely. So like a like a rap career. Oh hell yeah. Who would you prefer like the greatest rapper? Tupac or Biggie? Biggie. Biggie. I think Biggie has more flow and more swag in this shit. And Tupac is just like leaning some poetry, but like, not that it's not a good thing, but like, it's not my type of music, like, to be uh, that real. But like, Biggie makes the party rock, Biggie makes club bangers, Biggie makes like, makes you all them shakes, so. That's what I, that's what I, So I, that's why I perform, funky. like Biggie's like one of my favorite rappers, like, yeah. and like, I bump Biggie more than Tupac, so I think Biggie's way cooler. So, which artist has to go to the, to the bar, man? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? Uh, let me think about it. <laughs> um, I don't know, honestly. Uh, Danny Brown needs to redo his his, 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 his haircut a little bit, like just fix it. Um, you know, remember how it looked like when he first did that haircut, right? Yeah. Um, he needs to like redo that perm, and, <laughs> and, like the, the, the side. Some guys <laughs> just came up with like a Tupac T-shirt and. Uh, over that there was like a Wu-Tang booty. It's cool because like y'all bring like the piece in that east side, east coast, west coast thing. And just like mix the, the whole thing together. Like there's no category or there's no this and that. No. no. Well, it's all about hip hop at the end of the day. Like it's, it was a stupid brief. Very stupid brief.